So I'm really excited to test out Razer's adjustable head strap and their facial interface. So this is the actual company ResMed and they partnered with Razer to build a really comfortable ergonomic mask that's not gonna ir irritate you. The ones that came default with Meta's uh, Quest 2 were just kind of scratchy and they had to replace it and all that stuff. But I think these are gonna be a lot better because I mean, look at the design of this over here. You can see just the way that it wraps around my face, kind of like that. Of course, VR requires the most comfort because you're gonna be in there for long sessions and you just wanna feel comfortable. So let's go ahead and unbox this. I'm gonna give you my first impressions and then later, a couple of weeks later, maybe a month later, I'm gonna give you my full kind of what do I think it's worth it and stuff like that. So first, let's start off with the facial interface. So let's put this one aside for now. So the, it's made out of this ultra thin texture and has a profiled membrane to eliminate facial pressure. So we'll test that out. And of course it's made with medical grade hypoallergenic materials to, to reduce skin irritation. And it's crevice free for better hygiene and easy maintenance. It was co-designed with ResMed technology, a leading expert in human factors. And it has a light blocking design with ventilation for greater immersion and comfort. Oh, and another thing I wanna mention is that it's made for Meta. So it seems like they have some authorization there's a one year warranty. And so, yeah, they have the logo and everything. So this is like more as official as it can get, right? Yeah, I'm really excited. The fact that it's co-designed with ResMed. It even has the logo right here, technology by ResMed. Like that is really cool. Like, if you... Now I actually have a third party silicon mask on it and it's been pretty good. It has the light blocking uh, uh, capabilities as you can see over here. Uh, this has been really good. So it would be really cool to compare this with Meta's official replacement and then this third party and then this one here. So I'm gonna go through all that and give you my honest opinion of what do I think about all these facial interfaces. And then obviously we're gonna swap out for this more kind of like bulky. I don't really like this third party one because it's when you wanna lie down or just lean against something, this hits against the wall and I just don't like that. So I'm really excited for the other thing that we're gonna test out. But first let's get to this one. Oh wow, immediately I can feel how soft it is. Very cool. Got some instructions. Just how to assemble it. Should be really easy, you just have to snap it on. Okay, so immediately I feel like it's a lot softer. It almost has like a memory foam, which it probably does. So I'm liking this. There's no crevices or anything like that. The light blocking ability right here, you can see that. And it has the, the Razer logo right over here. So when I hold these two side by side, they don't feel too different, but I can immediately feel that the razor quality is a little bit better. It feels softer to touch. So I'm really excited to put this against my face and because yeah, this is a little bit more firm. In fact, I think this is just using the default. So this is the original Facebook or Meta's kind of mask. It's just like a foam and apparently it was giving irritations and stuff like that. So most of the third party vendors just sell like the silicone kind of wrap. They don't actually sell like the foam inside. So, so let's put it in. Okay, snapped in very nicely like that. All right, so the moment of truth. Let's try this out. Whoa. Holy. That is, that is really nice. Oh my goodness. I, it like feels like I'm closer to the screen. I don't know if that's like a, and it's blocking out everything. Like I can't see anything around me. It's like completely blocked out. I'm gonna swap between the two really quickly just to see how I feel. I'm gonna do more extensive testing, but this is just... Give me that first impression. Take it out. Oh, wow, okay. So the old one with the actual stock or the default memory foam, it just feels a lot harder. Like it's, it's not soft on your face. So like, yeah, there's more pressure points because the memory foam isn't absorbing it. I think that's how I feel it right now. So let's swap it out one more time. Oh yeah, it's like an immediate difference. It feels a lot softer on this one. That's really cool. Okay, so far I really like it. I'm gonna be doing some extensive gaming on this and maybe some more VR watching movies and stuff like that. But let's, let's try the other one. So the head strap is really cool. Designed for all heads, high performance nylon material, co-designed again with ResMed technology, optimized weight distribution for greater comfort during active gameplay, soft adjustable straps, custom fit, quick slip on, instant resume play. And like I said, this third party head strap, I like it a lot. It was it was really nice. It's I like that the easy twist and everything. It's definitely a, a better 
version than the official one because the official one was plagued with issues that where it would crack over here. And I, I imagine this is gonna be a lot lighter because of it's just made of nylon, which is a very light material. And this thing on the back, although it's excellent for like gaming and stuff like that, it's just really, really bulky. And when you're leaning, let's say you wanna lie down or anything like that, you just can't, this thing gets in the way, it's really annoying. Another downside to these more bulkier head straps is that if you're using the official Oculus case and you wanna put it in, you can't basically fit it. So you need to get like a larger case. All right, so that's it. Nothing, not, not, not too much in the box. There's instructions. Okay, so this is like super lightweight. It's probably even lighter than the original strap. I don't, yeah, it's, it's really cool so far. And, and, and you know, it's so interesting that they partnered with ResMed because I can already feel the ResMed human factor that's in, involved in the design. So if I take one of the ResMed masks again, if you look at these straps side by side, like, the technology is there, like they definitely have their impact. As someone who's used CPAP for many, many years, like I can immediately feel like this is like headgear. And I think that's a good thing because these people who wear uh, CPAP machines for their CPAP now, they need the most comfort. And I'm really glad they partnered with like a medical company to, to build this stuff. So really cool so far. Whoops, did I break it? Okay, so that was quite a struggle, but whew. Finally off. So you need to thread the top up onto it. This goes in like this. Okay, snapped in there. And then the other one. Okay, so we're finally got it on, finally. Whew. All right, so let's put the facial interface back on. Okay, and so there we have it. We have a much more compact setup here. This is gonna be really interesting to try out. And it's super lightweight. Like you can just pack it, pack it away like that. So you want it so that the top part is on your head. Yeah, this is very much like resume technology. Okay, well let's try and accomplish that. I'm gonna give it a nice little, and there we go. It's perfectly on, like, this is amazing. So I can go lie in my bed or anywhere I want and I'm not gonna have this like bulbous thing on the back of my head. That is amazing. Oh, and it's so easy to like take it off, take it on, put it on. It's like a hat. It's like, I'm in. Out, I'm in. So if you want it to not shake too much, I think you just have to tighten it just a little bit. Make it a little bit more. Yeah, that's a lot more solid. If you're just doing like, you're not just shaking your head too hard, I think it stays very nicely in place. Yeah, you can feel the equal distribution of pressure like on the back of your head. So it's not like resting too hard on your head. Yeah, so I have to say both of these combined are really good upgrades, like extremely comfortable. I'm liking it so far. So I think for the next couple of days, I'm gonna try both of these. I'm gonna be swapping them back and forth and then I'm gonna give you my final conclusion. So wait till the end of that video. So I've had a chance to have some intense gaming sessions on this, watching movies and whatnot. So what do I think of Razer's facial interface and their nylon head strap co-designed with ResMed? Well, obviously I love it. It is absolutely amazing. It has been a game changer to my daily routine of using the Quest 2, partly because I love the fact that it doesn't have any bump on the back of my head. So when I watch movies in bed, I don't have that annoying like, it's just it was just terrible using that other strap. The, the other third party strap, it would just have a big bump and scratch against the wall and whatnot. Now, what's really interesting is that there seems to be kind of like ventilation holes on both sides and then at the top over here. I'm not sure if this is actually a feature or something to just increase the comfort, like reduce, you know, sometimes when it gets steamy inside and then you get that glare or like that fog over your lens. So far, I haven't experienced any of that. So I, it wasn't advertised as a product feature. Maybe I should email Razor support and ask if that's like actually a feature, but it's kind of cool. So you got these ventilations here and that's something that you don't get in the default uh, head interface. So uh, life, nice little nifty feature there. So the nylon material is extremely comfortable. It's just, it just feels really professional. It feels really, really good. And as it has a nice kind of like thickness to it, so it's not cheap or anything like that, it's not gonna break. So really well done in that regard.
Oh, and I can finally travel with it because it's so small. It packs away very nicely in my carry-on. The best thing about this is the ability to take it on and off. I just, I just love the fact that I could just flop it on. It's like a hat. And if I want to quickly check something, I can lift this up. I can just constantly do that. And let me go into the actual memory foam. The memory foam on this is way better than the default stock one that you get. Even if you go out and buy like a third party silicone replacement, it, it's the what's underneath the actual silicone that is so nice and soft. And it just is way more comfortable for long periods. I'm, I was playing Half-Life Alex, replay it again because it's such a great game. And I just felt like I didn't feel any fatigue in my face. So it's super well balanced, so easy to take on and off that you want to jump into VR a lot more frequently because before it was just, I don't know, it was just kind of annoying to tighten that strap there or the other, the default strap, but just the, the basic one that comes with the Meta Quest 2 is awful, don't use that. So I can definitely recommend upgrading to this. I think it's a really good investment. It's really gonna enhance your gameplay, comfort and everything. And also just the movement around, like when you're using it, fast action sports and stuff like that, it is extremely secured in place. And I'm impressed, it's just, you, you never have to adjust it too. Like once, once it's set, you can just leave it and forget it and always put it on just like a hat. So that's it, my review of the Razer facial interface and the head strap. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section down below. I will leave links to this product in the description of this video. Check them out and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.